PLP. We have who is known as Dame Margaret Pinling as she counts and gives remarks to me. The 
good advice. That's right. That's very good advice, Papa Clown. Be brave. But Papa Clown, you need to take your own advice. And go. Look in your mirror. Take a break. Look in your take mirror, Papa Clown. Even though your time is very, very short. Read the man. 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 Read With unemployment among young people at 34%, with national debt at almost $5 billion, and with crime spiraling out of control, I do not believe that I have a choice in the matter. I believe I have to get involved to ensure that our country stops the direction it is going in. I have to do my part to ensure that our country makes a major correction by electing a responsible and proactive PLP government. I have to be on the front line to ensure that the FNM is voted out of office. Therefore, it should come as no surprise to us that candidates for the FNM duck and avoid those who elected them. And instead, they've resorted to conjuring mistruths, advancing an agenda of mudslinging and personal attacks, belittling even the office of Prime Minister in doing so, and avoiding the fact that the FNM has failed on its campaign promises in 2007, has failed the Bahamian people in saving Bahamian jobs, has failed in creating new jobs for Bahamians, has failed to keep our communities safe, and failed miserably in putting Bahamians first. So I will do what I think is right and what I think you want to deserve. And that is to tell you what I will do for Southern Shores as your member of parliament and my vision for the constituency. We can achieve anything, including the impossible. Yes, I know. So just up my head. of a new generation of candidates. Yes. They are smart, they're tough, and they're ready to bring big changes. I'm confident enough to recruit an all-star team, the most impressive team in the history of the Hamian politics. Everywhere you look in my party, you see candidates of extraordinary depth and extraordinary achievement. That's right, that's right. But it really doesn't matter who Ingram's candidates are. No, we don't But you can bet your bottom dog. Yes. He's not going to listen to them. No. Who cares? He's a dictator. Imagine if they make his cabinet and they try to talk to him.
to be brought for trial for murder within two years, he would, and I quote him, hang his head in shame. And now listen to this. In those circumstances, voting him out of office would be the least punishment he should get. Voting him out of office should be the least punishment he should get. He should really get more punishment than that. He said that. He should get more major parliament than that. Well, of course, he now wishes he didn't say those words. Under this FNM government, a record number of accused for murder are out on bail. Well, in the PLP, we want to remind the Haymans that Ingram had asked you to hold him accountable for the number of persons untried for murder. Those are his words. So we made a little advertisement, a little ad, using Ingram's own words, and pointed out that the number of murders has doubled. The number of murders has doubled under this government. Now you know, the ad, the ad is playing now. If you have seen the ad, if you've seen it, you couldn't have on ZNS. Because ZNS is refusing to play. ZNS is refusing to play the ad. If you saw it, you have to, you have to look at it on cable. ZNS is refusing to play the act. Do they dispute the facts in the act? No, they don't. Do they dispute that murders have doubled under this government? No. No, they don't. Do they dispute that those words were human Ingram's words? No. His plea to vote him out of office for failing in this matter. Let's go. 